This Halloween, we are rebuilding the spookiest team in College Football 25. Salem, Massachusetts is home to one of the spookiest stories in American history. The Salem Witch Trials of 1692 resulted in the deaths of 20 individuals and accusations of witchcraft to over 200. A dark day in history, no doubt. Fast forward 300 or so years later, and the Salem Tech Black Cats are still accused of some sort of magical influence over the ACC because they came out of seemingly nowhere and are ready to win. Originally a Division III program, Coach Spooky Sponge cast a spell to allow his team to compete D1. Not only is he a sweet talker, he has a way with the recruits, finding a way to hijack just about anyone flipping their commit. With great power comes a curse. This entire rebuild, we cannot run a traditional quarterback so all of these guys can hit the showers. It needs to be an out of position player. To do this, we simply analyze the roster, look for someone with good attributes. Yes, mm -hmm, yes, okay, quiet, yes. Edit player and then change position to quarterback. Voila. Tyreek Sanders is not that guy, 12 overall. Meet the starter, Bobby Darkness, one of the best guys I could find. Converted receiver here. He's got some speed, which is great, but then when you scroll down, you can see that he has average at best here accuracies and throw power that's honestly the best i can find so he may be clocking in at 59 overall which is gonna definitely hurt the sim logic he's got a nice six foot five stature and i think he can play well bobby darkness is gonna need to be connecting with z spell and some other notable witches i mean players ivan stealth and christopher coven impact freshman tight end and Jaden feline and yeah not too many bright spots across the defense i think it needs help this team needs help despite the illusion of prestige that we've casted and i think the key to this rebuild is to stack every position so that the converted quarterback has a safety blanket everywhere he looks and there's less opportunity to fail. We stick to the plan and surely these black cats will bring bad luck wherever they go. We shall see how the team holds up in this inaugural game, cats versus cats. Black cats on the road against the bear cats. Obviously defense is gonna need to be massive if we're gonna have any success in the long run. So if Johnson can here plug up the gap on this blitz, they're gonna convert. They end up scoring, we're in offensive position right now and look at that dump down to spell as he just goes down the sideline almost to the house it's definitely a little clunky with the less experienced quarterback so we're gonna run a lot of read options in halfback carries bobby darkness is gonna need to learn quick second and goal gonna pass here he's got a tight end in addition to the quick dink and dunks i think scrambling is gonna be our best friend as well where he can get out of the pocket with that speed and score on his own he's feeling himself clearly there's some holes here in the defense and the offense is not sustainable in the long run so we'll need to look for a good recruit we'll need to look for someone with even better intangibles than our guy here darkness look how slow that thing lobbed in note to self let's keep it short maybe spell here on a quick out that could work Gosh, this is just so painful. Let's scramble out to the right. Made a good move there. That's what the receiver is known for. That rack run after catch, except quarterback edition. There's a good chance we win like, what, zero games this season. But if he at least does the simple things right, who actually knows? This could be interesting. Dot two, Hatcher, touchdown. Oh my goodness. Get on your broom and take off, boy. Let's go, Black Cats. Heck yeah, darkness. Let's go for two. And here we go. Slant looks open. And he connects he fit it in the window lost the lead again but maybe clay here on this carry will pick up the first keep the chains moving stepping back up it's our main man who's gonna spin out of some broken sacks oh my goodness that was only what a receiver can do that was actually nuts not an animation you see typically happening here with a quarterback quarterback that's for sure huge third down over the middle looks open and yeah inaccurate ball uh atrocious pass right there it was bound to happen. We're falling behind by two touchdowns and the illusion of a grand team is going by the wayside. That sixth ranking is definitely a fluke and it's gonna fall. I'm not even confident if one of our receivers gets a step that I can even deliver it to him because of how noodle army is. I like those last couple, no doubt about it. We'll test that lob theory and yeah, that thing just held up. Hello darkness, my old friend. <sighs> come to speak with you again last shot here fourth and 12 scrambling scrambling gets the edge gets the first down keeping things alive that's always a plus that is definitely the pro of this guy quarterback drove the team down into the red zone and that's coming in hot i don't know what we can do about it except throw it away and now on fourth and 10 i don't know what we can really do this is going to be nauseating to play this this rebuild could be doomed i'm not gonna lie felt pretty hopeless in this game 28 14 cincinnati you saw the spooky results there not what we're looking for indicating an urgent need to hit the recruiting portal find some five stars or anyone that can really just 
change the tide. I think Mateo Coat would like to join the Witch's Coven, man. This five-star gem running back, 94 speed. We need a ground in pounder, especially if we can't have a traditional quarterback. And then obviously I can't stress enough the importance of a good defense. So most of our focus is there and check out Everett Boyce. I think I want to sport the best secondary in all the game. 99 speed, five-star gem. This dude's a burner. In the sheer chance we can't get him, these dudes can fly. They'll hop on their broom. 98 speed, Corey Wetzel, shut down island. Valami Skira sounds like a great villain name. He might not have the speed the other two have, but he'll cast a spell on any receiver going against him. No secondaries complete without safeties. Ed Daniels and Javier Shembo, one-two punch. I mean, technically an athlete is not a quarterback, but since he's a quarterback tendency, I'm not going to blow the rebuild by creating this exception. But if, for example, they are an athlete with a tendency power back, obviously that means they're like a running back archetype first. We can use these guys as quarterbacks. And I originally wasn't going to give this guy points, but you know what? Creed Shrek is such a funny name. Shrek. This black cat's going to Shrek anyone's day that comes across him. But yeah, as you can tell with that last defeat, this train is about to go off the rails. Some might say going off the rails like a crazy train. I'm actually concerned if we're going to be able to win a single game. Maybe the pandas. Definitely not number five Miami. Can confirm through three games we're falling off. This is absolutely insane. Five interceptions. Horrendous. That was against Kentucky. He actually threw no interceptions against Rutgers. But yeah, it seems bad luck's on our side. Let's turn it around against the pandas. As we jump into this game, man, I hope you all have a happy and safe Halloween out there. Don't forget to have a spooktacular time, but as always, keep soaking it up with your sponge for all the entertaining rebuilds, college football 25 content. So if you're digging this and liking the direction where this vid's going, or you just like the spongy content, hit that subscribe button and join the squad just like darkness needs a squad around him to thrive. A lot of play actions, a lot of QB keepers, a lot of handoffs. We got a step here and oh my gosh, I have to keep in mind that 60 throw power is not it. Low-key embarrassing that Bobby Darkness right now is losing to the Pandas. I mean, I get you're not a native quarterback, but you got to find a way. Let's go ahead and snap this sucker right to Bannister, cut it right, and he got it. What the heck just happened there? I just looked down for a second and snapped it. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. Second chance, RPO, dump out, six in the corner. Nice strike. Seven, seven ball game. Darkness needs to think about this next decision very carefully. Going back to the left, back to the right. Cut it up mid. Yeah, we're cooked. Ah, do I need to sing it again? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Third and eight, just gonna chuck up a bomb. I see Spell got a step. Let's see if we can actually meet him there. Did he catch that? Ain't no way he just caught that. Hurrying back up. Four, three, two. Come on, snap and score. Snap and score. No. Actually in a battle. I'm going to lose my cool this rebuild. I can already tell. All right, third down. Scrambling. Thank you, sir. If a lane gets open, my first look is actually always to step up and run, but I got bottled up. Keeping the offense out here for some reason. We trust in our guy. Spooky Sponge calls it up. No. A little more conservative here on this next drive. We're just pounding the stone all the way down, and that's going to work. What we should have been doing this entire time, ground and pound to the running back. More Michigan-style offense, right? Less of this passy pass. Unless you get something like that, we have to connect. Touchdown, Coven, six. Season high in points, let's go. Don't blink now. Fourth and seven, lurking, lurking. Give me that. And with that, the ball game, our first win. Salem Tech is one and three. And we're starting to hit that point in time where people locking us out because our championship contender grade down the tubes, which is unfortunate for guys like Darren Claybrooks. We were in the lead and about to close them. Speaking of closing, though, at least we got Kari Abraham, number one recruit in the nation. He just fell under our spell. Probably the worst news of the lockout here is 99 speed Everett boys. I can't believe it. Aiden Ball is ready to ball out. Corey, the man, wet. 98 speed gym and that's really it for now but like i said a lot of guys we were in the lead on just locked us out definitely bums me out and i wonder if we can still somehow sneakily commit them if we get them to look the other way now yep this is what i expected to see one and eight just getting blown out stroke after stroke week after week we can't stop getting hurt the university of miami might just finish after they're through with us dropping salem tech to our knees and on the brink of extinction truly that's how bad i think this game is 
about to be. It's gonna get spooky. So if we're gonna get smoked, we might as well wear the smoke unis. Out comes Miami, and here come the cats. Disheartened bunch, about to feel the wrath of the canes. If we're gonna go down, at least we can go down looking cool while doing it, right? I really, really hope there's a recruit in the wings here that has at least, what, 70 throw power? Maybe a receiver, maybe a cornerback. Just a dude that's played some ball in high school that was maybe dual threat. Because I'll happily put six foot five Bobby Darkness back at receiver. And he could probably do a whole lot better there with a change of quarterback. For now, we will continue to go brick by brick seriously almost got ran back into a safety he just looks lost out here especially when facing a top ranked team not just bobby darkness it's actually the whole team this defense is getting scrunched down 12-0 minute 30 before half destroyed i have a feeling darkness here just wants to get to the showers i knew we were bad but bro i didn't know it was gonna hit like this when facing a top dog they're just slamming us defense doing a lot of bending not breaking which is a net positive but i spoke too soon canes on the board they're up by three possession what do y'all think man it's about time to go to next year we might as well finish up this season and get to all the off-season activities this play call is called salem so it's perfect for salem tech's playbook except it just doesn't work. Nothing works. Born to run, forced to throw, and then the blocks just don't hold up. There's like nowhere to go. This season is wraps. One last hoorah, one last shot. Why the heck not? He's got it, it's spell. Turnover. Final 15 seconds. Can we go ahead and get some garbage time points? Something to hang our hat on against the top dogs. Oh, you know, just 99 passing yards, negative 35 on the rushing department, lobbing one in. Yeah, let's call this game over like it was in the first quarter shut out the abysmal season continues here on the recruiting block we just had a guy where was he right here Velami skura the villain was committed to us and he flipped to oklahoma because we suck and oklahoma's probably all right i think this is the perfect rebuild for halloween because this is spooky man we're off to an atrocious start and we're gonna need a magical turnaround in the final game of the season the unthinkable happened we won that's right somehow it came down to salem tech in a fourth quarter comeback beating duke Malik Murphy struggled and Bobby Darkness got injured. So that's exactly how we won. Got to give it up to Mac Bannister with Genty like numbers and Spell and Coven coming through. That caps off a tumultuous season. Give it up for Bobby Darkness. 20 touchdowns, 32 interceptions, 2,600 yards. The Sim absolutely thrashed him. Couldn't really get it going as much as I thought he would on the ground either, which correlates to struggle across the team. The detective, Hardy Boy, nine sacks, Ayers with three ints. I would not be surprised if there's a mass exodus of players after this. Mo Okoy's got an important job snapping it to the quarterback and protecting an inexperienced dude. Someone's got to pay for this atrocity and it's not going to be spooky sponge. Get rid of Devin Penn. John Sledge, defense, yeah, we'll give you another shot. And hey, now the coordinator finally rewards us bringing in the long pursuit after Sam Jordan. Jason Thrasher, the perfect warlock for the scene. Very, very good news. Like I mentioned in the beginning, we have the magical illusion that Salem Tech is the best place to play, and it came through in a big way. Five, five stars, 12, four stars, second best class. If you couldn't tell, we're desperate to bring in fresh talent, and I'm desperate to land Matthew Teal. Got some interested schools like Texas, Ole Miss, and Troy, but nah, man, you know you want to come to Salem. We see it, we want it, we like it, we got it. This year, it belonged to the dogs. Maybe next year, it'll belong to the cats. Low-key surprise that we're not too damaged by the transfer portal. First guy says no, feline says yes, we need our little feline. And Wet Willy is here too. Salem Tech Black Cat first round pick. Francis is headed in the first round. The transfer portal giveth and take away. There is nothing here for us, literally. Except when I find myself down here in the two-star rankings, maybe I go for this two-star left outside linebacker. Or maybe I don't. I don't even know what Tyler's good at here. 78 speed, 78 power moves, 44 zone coverage. He's really just below average at like everything. I guess he is only a freshman. An important time for Salem Tech here. It's the position change era. We'll look through our guys and see, for example, if they can play quarterback. Ed Daniels, nah, off the table. Daniel Ruffin here, nah. I'm starting with some of the secondary because they are speedsters just like Wetzel. Maybe 98 speed as a quarterback would do a great thing. Not even close. Any dogs play quarterback in high school? What about this right outside linebacker? Nope, they just don't seem to fit that mold. Sam Jordan want to be the next MJ? I'm just kidding. I feel like receiver you could have better luck like yeah exactly Christopher Coven here a secret dog he's a 77 overall receiver but a 90 overall running back I might do that but he's also a 62 overall quarterback that's 
better than Bobby Darkness, but I have to go with Coven as a running back. And now that we have so many running backs, including four freshmen we just brought in, let's go down the line. Joey, someone's got to be a quarterback in this group. Pepper, six foot one, and bingo. This is exactly what we were looking for. A real versatile athlete here in high school. Looks like he could have played pretty much every position. That's crazy. These are the dudes we're looking for, and Pepper is our quarterback. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Edgar Allen Pepper, elite dev, our quarterback for the future, converted running back, still dripped out in his neck brace, his arm tape, his hands. With this skill set, he's going to be coming fast at every defense that is thrown his way. You know, to keep it a buck, Bobby Darkness went up, what, eight, nine points over one year? It's not horrendous. Maybe by junior, senior season, he would have been the crack in the 70s. Here's what I'm going to do about old Bobby. We're going to head into edit player, throw him back at receiver. And hey, just like that, he'll slot right in as a 74 overall. Won't see the field this next season, but his time will definitely come next season. The gold and glimmer starting to fade just a smidge. As you can tell, what is that? Like eight players interested to come to our school? Meaning Spooky Sponge is going to have to start sprinkling that magic dust again, or I don't know what he's got to do, but he's going to need to convince some people to commit. I don't blame the skepticism after we just got annihilated last season, but I know for sure that I'm not happy about it. Of the witches and warlocks we need to convince, I must let you know there are some certified players. Willis, 95 speed, five star gem corner, literally Ashton Genty like abilities here. Check me out. The same speed as Genty, but he's got the platinum balanced badge, which is exactly what my guy's known for shedding, breaking tackles, getting all the way downfield and scoring. So I think we got a mini Genty here, but that's ironic because he's six foot three, 230. He's a bit bigger. So I guess you could say he's like a, a white Derrick Henry. Let's just blend the two Derrick Henry and Genty in between. Voila, you got Dennis. Some more linebackers to add to already a talented class. That was the first one. And then I found four star gem Sony, who's a left outside linebacker with 90 speed. A lot of good four star gems down here as I just scroll through the list. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We got some solid guys from one of the best classes in all the nation joining us. Joey and Channing with normal dev. That's disappointing. Third time's a charm. Jason Thrasher elite. Okay, I know who's automatically moving up to the top in my opinion. Mo Okoye. Pat Stockton. Yes, sir. Creed Shrek looking scary normal dev. Kari Abraham, number one recruit for a reason. He's going to be a game wrecker. A couple freshman middle linebacker here. Let's check out Aiden Ball star. His competition, Ostrowski, also a star. Quincy Adengabo, impact, but already 84 overall. Daniel Ruffin, ready to rough some feathers. And Ed Daniels, ready to leave his mark. I'm really geeked up for year number two, especially with Edgar Allen Pepper coming in. Second year globe and bounce back. Let's get it underway against Rutgers. Ooh, Rutgers. Here comes Salem Tech. Year one, flat out scary. Year two, it's all about getting in our bag. Look at ball, open field, just get broken. I said year two in our bag, did I not, Coven? Edgar Allen Pepper and Coven getting blanked up here just a little bit. Can he scramble to his left? Use his running back build. Get around the big man. Come on, you can do it. Are you out of your mind? Let's see how we feel zipping the ball around because I said year two, we're in our bag. Forget that, we're just gonna take off. He's got that running back approach. The reality of this rebuild is that's probably going to be the nature for all our quarterbacks. They're going to have to look to run first, throw second, but when you got a wide open guy and can throw a ball like that, spell first and goal. Ooh, broomsticks aren't the only sticks peeking up right now after that play and make it six. Come on now. Yeah, that's just like two plays and I'm already feeling like we got our national championship team, at least the foundations of it in the making. This is night and day a better feel than darkness. Buddy looks like a straight up vampire, but these athlete builds are 100% the move clunky receiver transfer not so much as exciting as that was he might still need a little bit of a ramp up hey now you're an all-star washington 14 7 we need our coven of witches to come alive here is that man coven and wow his first game is a converted receiver to running back chalk up 146 yards on 13 carries for the man that is impressive Edgar allen pepper though not so much i'm not sure if you just saw that graphic three interceptions yeah he's looking like a bum but you know what he's ours he's our salem tech bum he is gonna have to ride with us an elite bum i don't think i'm gonna really be looking anywhere else so we have to build around edgar allen pepper i'm telling you well third and 16 horn blaring and everything is anyone gonna get open maybe we can feather that into stealth oh you could have got the deflection coach says just send it and i don't think we have any more timeouts. so actually we have to get this like oh my gosh oh my gosh that's not where i thought it was gonna go that is terrible that is spooky that 
is Redonkulous. Honestly, Bobby Darkness could have done the same, if not better. Folks, it's a long road ahead. Jeez, 21-7, not the start I was hoping to see. Clearly got a lot more work to do. Maybe things will start looking sunny in Salem once we get sunny Unga. And I think that might be the case. We clapped FCS 44-zip. Edgar Allen Pepper had a decent game, spreading it to his two favorite warlocks, Spell and Stealth. Sucks, but we lost to Dennis, the five-star gem power back from Denver, Colorado. Mixture of Genty and Henry. Disappointing pointed to see that but we did land two five stars including jam lombardo mick roberts defense continues to get stronger for sure that is what we see across the board pretty much all of our signees right now are defense minus a couple offense alignment suddenly three and two taking on an O and six virginia team i think the accusations might come out is this team juiced they just might be and we're definitely here to get another feel for the goods already off to a great start in the recruiting department there are so many recruits visiting this game so it's a lot on the line which is why i can't stand that an O and six virginia is grittying all over us like for real i'm starting to think Edgar allen pepper like hit away from from like everyone today. He stayed in the locker room, the shower, something. Defense was not to be denied. Did not get burnt this time. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Here we go. Edgar Allen Pepper takes the snap. Sees a man going down the sideline, has a step. Fuse comes down, big catch. Literally only 53 yards today, but we can turn it up here. Second half performance of a lifetime. Let's go home and yeah that first half let me speechless and all the wrong reasons second half of football quick adjustments quick strikes we're on the board there's a touchdown now third and nine let's go scramble out to the right get around in and then just tuck and run baby mobile agile able to kick it to the left and throw across his body to feline and he plunges forward for the first beautiful i'll bring the action here with coven let's go ahead and say coven on a texas route he was a receiver once upon a time so i expect him usually to come down with those i'll take ownership for that mistake that was pretty rough demarco is gonna take the punt return though we're still all tied up so we need Edgar allen pepper to play his best brand of football cast a spell and say a wish a couple guys on the right look so open no one's covering here and i i got absolutely debated hey when it's the halloween build you get extra scary gameplay here from the user as well that's me i'm gonna let you in on a little secret however i am playing on heisman and why i say this is because a lot of content creators actually play on the difficulty beneath heisman we don't do that over here we tie games up. We play on the hardest difficulty. We go to fight. Tie ball game. We're out of timeouts now. I feel like letting him score, which I'm glad he did. Because instead of them chewing the clock, winning the game on a field goal, we're here to play some more football and try to win it ourselves. Coven on the slip. No time like the present. We're getting straight after it here. Hardesty first down. Slants. Good usually play until it doesn't work and you need to hurry back to the line and just call another verts or something crazy here maybe coven's got something up his sleeve injury timeout gives us third and 15 can we come through oh no absolutely not this is scary fourth and 15 sacked game guess we're not quite as ready as I thought we were, but hey, a lot of mistakes on my end, and I think that's the reason for this loss. Coach Spooky Sponge definitely takes accountability for this one. End of the season review, six and six. I'll gladly take this over a one to two win year. Really highlighted by a 63 to 10 victory over Bowling Green, seven touchdowns from Edgar Allen Pepper. Yeah, he's the truth. Big win over ranked Stanford, lost a close one to Pitt, got smacked down by Clemson before finishing up with a sixth win against Cal. Definitely was not doom and gloom on the recruiting front. So many studs. We ended up getting Carlos Willis after all. Guaranteed elite. And check this out. Stats don't lie. The best class in the nation. Salem Tech, once again, Spooky Sponge had a way to convince recruit and build up this team and it may be the offseason but we ain't done yet add glenn o'reilly to the list while arch manning runs away with the 2027 heisman we're running away to the boca raton bowl against uab just happy to be here let's end off the season on a high note jumping ahead towards the fourth quarter we'll see what salem tech can do three zero seven before half seven six okay fourth quarter action don't mind if i do let's go check it out for ourselves and that is a common sight i see big defensive lineman just squishing me third and fifth please oh my gosh he got hit sticked maybe i shouldn't have jumped in i don't know if something's just tweaked or what but we're just getting hammered more often than not and we're forced to just take these 
wild shots. Essentially gave these guys a golden ticket to score and they do. And now we're losing by one. Let's try to get it back. I'm not very confident. The Sim was doing well. I'm not doing as well. I think we don't have as much protection as I would like, but hey, I can't make excuses as we come through huge right there to stealth, forcing UOB to burn timeout too. That was actually so clutch. Now I can hand it off to Coven and let him do the rest. Another tote for our main man. Would love to see him pick up the first down which we do not. UAB actually had an injury timeout. So instead of burning the clock, we have to actually, I wanna go for it here. And there we go. Now we can ice the game. We didn't have to do that really. Put the bowl game hanging in the balance. We go for it, get it. And now we're looking good. For positioning purposes, let's cut it back left. Okay. And here it is, the kick to send the team to the victory. Got intense there, but Salem Tech Black Cats won it. There we go. Got our name on a bowl game, seven win season onto the third. Clemson beat the Bearcats for this year's Natty. Two cats getting after it, but where are them Black Cats at? I can tell you where a lot of them want to go, the transfer portal. Remember, Salem Tech started with a lot of prestige. It was perceived to be a great school because of the magical witch spell. Now that is fading and we have a lot of dudes trying to hit it. I mean, take a look at all these freshmen. I can't lose Thrasher, no. Rough please stay you're a star oh my goodness sam jordan you too ostrowski pat stockton also a star thank goodness this is brutal four really good ones out but hey we got the best class for a reason and now aj Suris, a quarterback from ohio state we can't use him so we'll throw him in at the backup spot or better yet i probably won't waste my time on the portal because there was nothing there for us portal did not matter one bit still the best class and it can definitely be worth it to see if anyone else is secretly really good at something else not really this time around for our running backs. Two top two recruiting classes in the last two seasons unlocks elite recruiter off the rip going into year three, which this is a game changer already. We have such good influence, but now it's even better. And I just knew something was in the air here at Salem Tech. Christopher Coven, welcome to the 99 club. This was the best decision of his career going from receiver to running back because now he's one of the best in the game. It helps that he has a great route running tree, good hands, good elusiveness good IQ. Little lacking in the power, but makes up for it in quickness. Edgar Allen Pepper did not have as great of a training result as I expected, and that deal breaker grade's getting a little scary down there, which in fact, it looks like he may leave, so we gotta keep our eyes peeled now for someone else. Or on the contrary, with this team full of 90s, I'm just hoping we can make a surgence this year. If we lose him, there's a chance we jeopardize a lot of our progress, unless I could look at all the new freshmen we just brought in, because I didn't explore them all. Maybe they can also become a quarterback. I'll tell you what, Eric Colombo's ready to ball out six foot 203 kind of like our quarterback build elite dev a lot of similarities here don't really know exactly how this would translate to a quarterback he's got great speed got a lot of the toughness and stamina could be a prototypical build someone to keep an eye on frederick richmond also elite dev cameron's a star bj mcroberts certified three right ends including jared powell glenn o'reilly and elite oliver van pelt that is a really fitting name for salem feel lane mcrath's wrath elite sunny unga it's getting grim for the Black Cats. And hold on now, is that Aiden Ball right here? Look at him, up to a 93 as a sophomore. Your eyes don't deceive you, a true freshman, 85 overall elite dev. That's gotta be one of the best. Right outside linebacker here, got a lot of room to improve. Pass coverage and pass rush, not very good. Good run stopper and just very fast. You train him up, he could be a 99. Star corners like Guzman and elite Willis round out the list. This team is so stacked. Year three for the Scratchem Salem Cats and a 59 zip hoedown showdown three tutties 330 yards while adding one on the ground okay okay this might be a good season after all but we gotta travel down to tennessee delta dawn definitely our best group and most equipped unit to take on the vols our shirtless edgar allen here in year three looking to take the sophomore leap i'm hoping he's learned a thing or two maybe hit the manning passing academy i don't know because i want to see improvement i want to see exactly what this man is made of and it's not good ah oh, yikes that's quite the start love to see ball balling out here he is at 93 in his sophomore season but on that case that was not ball that was number 92 rain game holding them to two field goals at the moment and oh gosh they're going for more they got it we're down 13-0 pepper just keeps on stuttering and we're gonna have to actually kick it up a notch in the rain is he a natural Coven, 99 club. Never a bad idea to dish the ball to him. I'll give it that. Here we go, Coven on an out route. And there we go, just up the gut. 
and he fumbled. I looked away for a split second. Seems like I need to think twice before I compliment someone. Regardless, we have an opportunity in the third quarter for him to just scramble it in. That's my boy. Edgar, Allen, Pepper makes it a one score game. And don't look now, the wheels are turning. Pepper's got his team headed down the field and there's stealth. It ain't always gonna be pretty, but we can read option and do it all by ourselves. Baby Edgar. Alan Pepper, King Sponge, King Cringe. Why not a little bit of both? Coven, your turn. Let's turn it up and hold on to the lead. We just have fun here at Salem Tech and it's a real fun time when we're winning. I'm gonna snap it directly to Coven. I know he fumbled, but I still trust the product. Pass midfield, it makes sense to try to ice the game here ourselves. I just didn't have time to get it off. And oh boy, they've crushed our timeouts and just walk right past me. What an atrocious angle. Looks like we have to really trust in Pepper. He gets around. The running back's got daylight. He's headed down the sideline. It is a mistake to give this guy a lane. Just like right here, he's got another one. He's gonna hit the spin. Keep it moving, big fella. Wow, this is giving me like primetime Lamar vibes. He's just snapped it twice picked up and ran and took off and got us all the way down to the red zone. Got a converted running back and a converting receiver in our backfield at quarterback and running back. And these two guys have got us at first and goal. Snapping the pigskin, handing off the payload. He's got a spin and a move down to the two. This is it. 20 seconds, a lot on the line. It's all covered up, dude. We just got to get rid of it. Coach recommends a mesh spot. Coach, I'm trusting in you here. Fourth and goal. I want something underneath to open up and we're dropped and we're going to lose. No freaking way. Heartbreak heart heartbreak here in salem i'm so salty i don't know how we just did this in like only two weeks we landed five star anthony mcdougall went crazy there and crazy on ethan lawrence maybe i have a bad case of luck with edgar allen pepper and whenever i'm not playing him but the cpu is he goes off it's fine i'll stay here in the background just pulling all these strings landing all these commits bringing in the gems seriously turning this place into the place to be after i was heartbroken by by the loss the black cats turned around their luck got on a roll and here we are the acc championship game we're not even ranked but we can upset syracuse's day that's the thing looking at this bracket syracuse is a projected number one c but if we beat them i doubt we crack in here do we it would be absolutely massive to win that game and so the committee will have a tough choice if we can do it but how we got here, well, look at this four game win streak, clutch. Hey, no way, I'm scrolling back up. We already beat Syracuse 52 to six. How do we replicate that? It's almost like Syracuse didn't stop winning after that loss. Like I said, I was disheartened after I lost a potential game winner, but I'm gonna test my fate and try my luck again. It's all smoke under the bridge. I'm gonna wear the smoke unis. I know it's water under the bridge, but technically is there like smoke on the water, smoke under the air, smoke? I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but there's something with smoke. If not, Syracuse is gonna catch this smoke and they're not ready. Starting off with the first drive and the ball is exactly what I want because I wanna make a statement. You mess with the black cats, you're gonna get scratched. Shirley Coven first down little play action why not pressure coming in yeah we're cooked as much as I would like to blame Edgar Allen Pepper here sometimes our offensive line's actually kind of atrocious it's a common gripe actually because there's three stars technically on the line maybe I just got to stop whining and get to work am I right guys let's just launch one star on star our star comes down with it baby that was money spell just put him in a bind and now Coven's going back at it what do we got corner get there touchdown we're on the board first. Statement drive, Salem Tech in the house. Third and 15, looking for a statement here on defense. And there it is, Michael Gilly. Syracuse kryptonite, that's all we've been this year. 14 zip, and we're not finished yet. We're going for more. We're hungry to pat it on. Starting to have a game that's worth the hype here on Pepper. Most of the time, I'm just dog with him, but right now he's on a mission. And the best part is he has 190 passing yards on just five completions. Now make it six. Read option, let's keep it get back to his roots and you know what oops i did it again pepper with the burst and my man is in their house call that was insane shot out like a cannon or should i say on that broomstick stroking that thing left and right complete and utter control the syracuse orange are getting squeezed Ooh, squeeze it work it harder just like that 
Oh. And I'm so excited. We have made all the right reads today. This game's gonna go in the books as a great one from Edgar Allan Pepper. And we're doing the dang thing. We're showing we can more than compete with a top dog, number two in the nation. That'll wrap her up. 31, seven, Black Cat, Salem Tech. Just absolutely shock Syracuse for the second time this season. Edgar Allen took it up a notch and we did it. ACC champions. Is that going to be good enough for the college football playoffs? The answer is a resounding no. We got the Birmingham Bowl, but a nine and four season, we're going up exponentially in year four is gotta be hands down the best one, right? Oh my goodness. A good season was an understatement. I can't believe it. Pepper actually went to work. 37 touchdowns to nine hits and he tacked on six on the ground. Really, really encouraged to just see the production across the board. A couple seniors stepped up on defense as they should. Corey Wetzel looks really good, but he has a deal breaker. The sad reality of this picture is we missed out of the playoffs and wow, we could have been easily in Memphis's spot, which is surprising to me that we weren't, but also the fact that we have so many transfers looming. Oh, Oklahoma in the 12th seed won it all. I actually don't recall if I've ever seen a 12th seed just take it. Beat Notre Dame first, then beat Memphis, took down number one Kansas State before playing Jacksonville State here in the championship game. That is a fun year. And I feel like I can breathe a sigh of relief. We only have two dudes looking to transfer. Maybe I can persuade them. There's one and there's two. So no one is hitting the portal. A few people going NFL bound. It must have been the 10 win season. Yes, sir. Shout out Christopher Coven, first round selection. Z Spell, a second round receiver. Patton, second round. And Sanders, sixth round. I must say I enjoy when the portal gives us some good options. At least we got three this time. We will happily grab some offensive linemen that will bolster up our unit. The battles are won in the trenches, and that's how we get to the playoffs. I don't know what it is, but recruiting's been a breeze. I think Spooky Sponge might secretly be casting spells, because we just got all of our transfer targets as well. Marching into year four, Salem Tech's got a second team all-american and aiden ball after attribute boost he's actually up to the 99 club as well first team all-american shade and blum means business and we're playing georgia in the first week really pumped up about the season to come they're projecting us preseason rank two and we're in the top 25 to start off the season by now you should already know we're going to be staying in the 90 overall threshold and above Edgar allen pepper a junior now 87 overall so glad he decided to stay once a witch or warlock you don't leave the coven duke perry out here a little freshy 90 he went overall behind you see who bobby darkness finding yet another position started out as a quarterback then went to receiver now running back 96 overall he's a junior he could be drafted in the first round just like fellow receiver coven i figured a six foot five big frame here with great catching and speed would be a machine in the backfield i knew eric colombo the elite receiver was gonna jump to the top and elite tight end frederick richmond freshman 93 he's also at the top i don't really need to introduce you to all the new players because you already know we only recruit real ones i mean stop playing with the kid who else is bringing in three defensive tackles that are elite talents mcdoogie not to mention just the dts three true freshman middle linebackers to already go on top of a stacked group. Canyon Boodle, the next best thing coming up in here. Mark my words, if we don't win the Natty this year, it's going to be next. The window to compete is officially open and it starts here against Georgia at our home turf. And it looks like it's going to be an opening season classic. I should have known better in a marquee matchup against Georgia that we're going to get. I'm trying to eyeball what game this is. I'm not super familiar with ACC opening weeks versus SEC opening weeks. Oh, okay. It's just called the Aflac kickoff. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I didn't really recognize like the name name but i knew this was a game game pepper in darkness sharing the backfield two qbs converted and it's so cool oh you know just a team without a natural quarterback we've had to train we've had to work for everything we got and georgia now has the easy upper hand you know what not so fast it's never easy against a defense of our caliber ball comes in and closes the deal this game's gonna go a long way to determine who's ready for the playoffs if we can get through georgia in week one that's gonna say an awful lot about our team bobby darkness gets the carry here makes a move nowhere really juking Casper the ghost. No way. Tight end freshman Richmond here has a star underneath his name. I was looking that direction. Couldn't really get it off and we got chased. I have a bad habit of trying to force a ball into a place because of the name or because of the guy. But when I take my time, do the reads, I can throw it where it needs to go. Black Cats 
on board and with the lead. That is, of course, until Georgia decided to respond. We got darkness out of the backfield, though. This receiver is a sure hand. Let's just take it underneath to Ram Sour. One snap at a time, one play at a time. It will all be all right. I think I can trust darkness to pick up one yard, can I, guys? Okay. It's going to be a long season if I can't trust him, but now I got the freshman in. Perry up the middle. He got it. Goodness. Hoping these transfers, the offensive linemen can actually step up and make this team better. Little slip screen to darkness. Get off that block. Oh my gosh, man. Back around. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That would have been so cool. Yet it was a flop. Shoot, man. I was almost so geeked up. Instead, we'll take three and tie it up. If he scored that, that would have been like all over Twitter. Instead, we're back to the grindstone, getting first downs to Columbo. You knew it was just a matter of time till I got our youngest neophyte involved. The level of comfort and how I feel playing with our quarterback, Edgar Allen Pepper, it's just gotten so much better. Confidence is definitely soaring. Felt clunky in our first season, but now I feel certified. Big third and... 10 here, decked. For first team All-American, this quarterback is actually getting blanketed very well by our defense. The only problem is that we're not doing much to stand up as our own unit. We got two minutes to right the ship. What type of two minutes will it be? We got him in the nick of time. What? He picked it. No, I thought I had him. Oh my goodness. And they chew the clock and end the game. That is so, so anticlimactic. We will see them again. If it means the playoffs, we'll see them then. After that Georgia wake up call, we take care of Buffalo FCS, lose to Oklahoma, beat SMU, Georgia Tech, and Cal. I don't want to talk about Florida State. And really not too bad on paper of a season. Just lost a couple costly ones, like getting skunked by Stanford. Put a sour taste in any committee's mouth. We didn't even get into the top 25. In fact, six and two in conference play, but losing it to Florida State means an NC State Florida State Conference Championship game. This year finished with Oregon on top. Wow, okay, shout out to the UTEP Miners. They got in. Another possible first for me in my dynasty sim, I don't think I've seen them ever crack the playoffs. On paper, Edgar Allen Pepper was as efficient as ever. This was one of the problems here. Darkness got hurt. He didn't do as much as I thought he would. Joey DiNapoli, what a season. What you talking about, Willis and Wetzel? Three more ends for both of these guys. On paper, there was a lot to like. I am a little confused about this pro potential and why everyone all of a sudden wants to transfer away, given the fact we just had four NFL draftees this last season. And yeah, this is our worst nightmare. Actually, everyone... Literally everyone's trying to transfer. Did I miss something? I don't think I've ever seen this. Pepper, please stay. Oh, goodness gracious, thank you. We got our quarterback back. Pat Stockton is a very good right guard. Carlos Willis, very low chance, but we need him and we got him. Just trying to sift through the madness here. Who can we keep? That's definitely worth keeping. Better yet, why is everyone picking up and leaving? Ostrowski, maybe you can stay. Shoot, one more chance. Maybe go with the minor. I'm telling you, it's the Salem Tech curse. Like, this is bonkers, man. Salem Tech has some dudes here at the top of the transfer portal for anyone that's lucky to bring them in. I am so disappointed by all this. Lombardo, Ostrowski, Joey DiNapoli. Keep scrolling down to guys like Sonny and BJ McRoberts. What about Madden, Kendricks, and Ainge? It feels like the whole coven, all the witches and warlocks turned on me, turned on us at Salem Tech. Now, Spooky Sponge is left with the rubble, the debris. How are we gonna pull out of this? Despite all the madness, Aiden Ball is a first round pick and I can't even properly congratulate the man because we just got betrayed. I think what's even more surprising to me right now is the fact that we just had a mass exodus. And you know what? We still got a really good core. This is 90 overall before training results. Hey, yo, forget it. We don't need those other guys. My rant is over. We are saved by so many 90 overalls, including a couple 99s in Hark in Darkness and the soft more Frederick Richmond. Goodness gracious, we are saved. Studs on studs everywhere. The real ones that we really needed were here all along. Truly, we kept our guys and did a great job recruiting. I don't give one boodle about the ones that left now. They can go pound sand. In fact, the hype is still so sky high in year five of this dynasty rebuild that Bobby Darkness is a preseason Heisman favorite. The 15th ranked black cat sport, not one, but two first team All-Americans, Frederick Richmond as a sophomore. This guy is going to go NFL bound after this season. On the road, it's long and winding, full of challenge and terrors, like a road game against number one Oregon. And oh yeah, it's time to take down the Kings. Once number one seed, they already dropped the first one. Now a six seed game of the week. It's not going to look good to lose two. I was truly scared when we lost so many guys to that 
portal and it looks like we're in a battle here against Oregon I think we have the talent the guys everything we need to come in to Eugene Oregon and shock the world well shock all the critics not of our guys we expect this i think the more we get darkness out there involved as a receiver the better but the problem has been at the line all rebuild long quite frankly i saw the corner slip though and we don't miss great dime that was truly something special and you want to see something else that's special doing it with the legs cutting up field getting down to the one handing it to the preseason heisman watch list touchdown darkness and oregon if they fall oh and two they're all they're gonna be saying is hello darkness my old friend going for it fourth and inches it's the wildcat formation and it worked a young core out here like boodle the freshman looking to be a hero we need some big players Plays. It's crazy how Oregon's marched right down the field with 20 something seconds left to play and great defense here. Cover nine, show two, boodle time up the middle. Yeah, that's game, baby. You're not going to ever get that shiz through our fly zone. In fact, what did you expect? We fly on brooms, bruh. We got the witches out there. You ain't getting nothing through the airspace. We have yet to do this. A major early season victory over a top competitive team. I think that spells really good things for the playoffs. I'm actually surprised that's player of the game worthy. My intuition, not a surprise. Correct. 7-0 and oh through the first seven. And we're spanking people along the way. Blowing out Louisville, Syracuse, North Carolina, UConn, Notre Dame. No one has stood a chance. And I don't think anyone will. We're going to sim these last few weeks. And you know what? I think it's inevitable. We are inevitable. Salem Tech is inevitable. Yeah, baby, we got the spookiest squad in the nation. Number one, Black Cats in the championship game against Miami. A perfect 12-0. Spooky Sponge has more than done his job here. It just feels so right. 37 touchdowns to one in 3,000 yards. 16 touchdowns for Ramsor. 10 for Amadi. And the defense, Ethan Lawrence. Wetzel Pretzel. Bro, without a doubt, all those transfers have got to be kicking themselves where did they all go and some of them were good the punishment for betrayal is you know what put nicely they're toast to me you betray the black cats you betray the sacred salem tech you don't come back and i'm calling it now miami had one loss all season give them a second when you got a team with this kind of magic on their side i don't care who you throw up against them 14 zip off their up against the number three team in the nation 17 zero we're going into half shutting them out it is wraps i'm telling you this team is just too good we're too magical we've done everything we had to do and the perfect season continues 23 to 10 salem go crazy more ha, 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 ha. happy halloween and folks just to put the feather in the cap this has been a great dynasty Edgar allen pepper converted running back to quarterback heisman question mark player of the year for sure and bingo usually when you are a player of the year you're a heisman too slap on a johnny unitas award and the quarterback award oh hey look it's someone not named Edgar allen it's Corey wetzel congrats dude ethan lawrence congrats freshy 13 sacks and the lombardi award okay one of the most complete teams i've played with we get to take on tennessee in the peach bowl i think the more accurate term is we get to dominate in the peach bowl multiple award winners heisman and winner what more could you possibly want out of this team the national championships literally it and we're on our way a team truly for the ghouls and goblins out there they are proud of their bunch let's just keep it that way locking down odingabo the good times just keep rolling a little bit of an odd case our offense disappeared until i literally speak that they house call a one play wonder and we're back in the driver's seat looking to pat it on some more i'm telling you when magic's involved you get behind something funky is gonna happen someone's gonna do something to influence this game third and six yeah we got the angle here we got the speed we got around it just lob one into our tight end richmond held on behind the back catch that's gonna pad this lead that is a sophomore stud and dude i don't know what is in the air but i can feel it coming just need to hold on to these final totes let's hand it off to our running back he's got a nice little lane stars across the board perry is one that is blossoming as well i think he's just about done it the final kneel down and we're moving on to the next stage the perfect season and the dream continues to the cotton bowl kitty cat versus kitty cat wildcat black cat ain't no way i just realized k-state hasn't lost all year too 14 and 0 
14 and 0. You see it on the scoreboard. Someone's got to lose, and I'm determined to not make it the Black Cats. And that pains me to say because I'm a K State alum and I'm always rooting for them boys to go crazy. I guess just not this time against Salem Tech. Let's go HB Direct once again. I thought I could get a yard, and we do. Let's hit the counter to Perry. He's got some space here, breaks free of a tackle. Solid nine. Ooh, I like this. I like this. Good drive right now. Good runs. Really good blocking, which has been a sentiment I truly haven't been able to express all season long, but they're giving me the blocks. They're keeping it clean, letting me score. I warned him once we got going, there's no stopping us. We're already up 16-3, making it look silly. Out to our right. We'll just go ourselves. We're a running back at heart. One heck of a running back that's actually developed into a pretty solid quarterback i'd say until we just did that i mean i like the idea i saw more black than white it just didn't work but the good news is it hasn't been working all night long for kansas state so we can just keep air raiding it taking our chances and that's exactly what the plan is here not really working out as i thought it would i can't complain too much if we're playing really good defense because that's what will keep us alive at the end of the day colombo first down final 15 let's go right over the middle look at him richmond untouched this game's getting into scary territory it's the witching hour where wins become losses and it's all finalized you see what the score is right now folks about to be 37 3 you would not have guessed that kansas state did not lose a game all season the way they're playing truly getting exposed and i think it's just truly showing the power of our team wow no doubt about it 37 3 let's bring on the natty the final frontier the final witch trial some might say trojans black cats this one's to break all the salem curses the one for the books and wow we were three points away from getting a little rematch against georgia who stunned us in the previous season and they wouldn't have had a chance against us 15 and 0 feel sorry for usc too though because their season's about to end straight home field advantage and that doesn't stop now into the national championship game so pumped up for this through all the accusations through all the false hostility and just resentment for Salem Tech. Feels good to finally win one here in a spooktacular finish against USC. That's right. I'm already calling it. We're taking this thing. They may be down here knocking third and goal, scrambling to their right, looking for that touchdown, but I don't think so. The worst part is we turned it over after holding them to three, and now they're going to go crazy, aren't they? It's been quiet over here, hasn't it, guys? We have to step the game up. Thankfully, a golden opportunity to right the wrongs, and we will take one back. Touchdown, Perry. Now we're on the board, and now we can start unleashing all our fury. And this is the Fury, the brand of football I'm used to seeing out of Salem Tech. Now with the lead, about to lose it. It's just so fun when they run circles around us. Not. Let's go rub it back in right into their face. Trickery. Witches are full of those tricks. We need to find the winning recipe right here because there's no time like the present and all the shiz we've been trying just ain't cutting it, so cut it up. I'll take this fourth and nine as an opportunity to hit our big tight end, trusty Stalawart. Don't mess with me on fourth downs. Converting two of those right now. We're doing a great job making it count finding the right move to make and yeah okay we're pretty much in field goal range all we really need is a field goal to win so let me audible to a handoff and start chewing clock picking up some more chunks second and eight you know what they say pound that stone all right now we're gonna toss that rock let's just dump it underneath i know safety shoot and we absolutely need this right down the middle in terms of accuracy but I didn't realize we had a noodle for a boot. This is exactly why it's crucial to keep those three timeouts handy for moments like this where we can stop them on their run and now have a chance to win the game. What was a massive failure can be redeemed. The final hour will we answer. Perry catches it. Ultimate safety valve. That's what's up. Turned it upfield like a boss. And then the slant to Amadi. We're already there. Two plays got us there. What was USC doing on defense? Three plays were in the driver's seat. I'm actually confused if you're a fan of USC or the defensive coordinator. Like, I don't know what you told your guys, but it was the wrong thing. Clock is running. Honestly, this is risky to get another snap off because we have no timeouts, but he's going to get even further. Check me out. Calling Salem on probably our final offensive snap of the this game final offensive snap besides the field goal coming nothing more fit than salem for salem tech out to the running back clock winding down we got out of bounds to stop it and yeah i'm comfortable taking this kick 18 yards out are you comfortable guys you should be we nail it and that could 
and should be the dagger. Just got to hold off the sign line just for like four more seconds just to limit the potential effect of a kick return touchdown. I'm going to squib it. I think that's the safer play. Give it to a bigger, thicker dude and then just send everyone straight back. They're going to chuck one up for the final shot. It falls to the ground and give it up for your national champs. Salem Tech Black Cats win it all. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Ah, it feels good to bring this troubled town, this infamous city, some good news, a national championship game. And on that wholesome note, we've redeemed Salem. Hakeem Ahmadi gets player of the game. He had three catches, but they all came through in the clutch. A touchdown and that one right there that got us into field goal range. Well, shoot, if you're soaking up these rebuilds with King Sponge, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next. Salem Tech Black Cats, we are out of here.